What's up everyone, Jake here from Jake's Aviation, back today with another model unboxing and review video. And this time we have one of the uh, brand new releases from NG Models, the Flair Airlines 737-800, uh, Charlie, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Lima, Charlie in the WJ, uh, Bill Hardy livery, William Bill Hardy. Um, well, not livery, it's just a name. Uh, so they did two of them, uh, two 738s uh, with a different name on each. Um, and this is the third actually, well those, along with these, uh, the other one, it'll be the third uh, release of a Flare 737-800 by NG. Um, they released one some time ago uh, when Flare originally kind of introduced this new livery. Um, and I missed out on that. Um, but I'm happy to have this uh, now and hopefully I know Gemini Jess has done the max didn't haven't really picked that up yet because I'm kind of hoping NG will do the max for Flare um, and I'll pick that up uh, when the time comes and yeah so this is a new airline to my collection actually and it's one that uh, does fly into LA um, but I'm just excited to have another Canadian carrier in the fleet so let's go ahead and get started so here we go here's the box uh, very nice looking and whatnot. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Card. All right. There's the model. Looks pretty good. All righty. So Flare doesn't have a whole, I think they have a whole, eh, about two or three of these 738s uh, still flying and most of their fleet consists of the Max now. Um, but I still decided to get this just to have. Um, and eventually, as I say, I'll get the Max. Hopefully NG does release it um, so that I can get that variant or that version of it. But yeah, here's the model, looks very, very nice. Um, this delivery, it, it did take some time for it to kind of Grow on me, and to be fair, it still is like meh. It's different. It's it's unique, um, but I don't really mind it now. It's it's fine. It's kind of cool. It's different. That's why. So um, yeah. Anyway, here we have the model looking very very nice. We'll take a look here. We'll zoom in. It's got the black nose. Got the cockpit windows and everything. Oh, this is NG's fantastic 737 800 mold. Can't go wrong with it. Gear door looking very good there. You got that green on the bottom. You got the L1 door. And you got the name right here. So uh, from what I looked up and saw, um, William Bill Hardy uh, was a, um, I wouldn't say an aviation pioneer, but he was someone who was very well known in flying, um, kind of in like the northern territories, kind of from uh, Alberta, Edmonton, Calgary, that area, up to the northeast or Northwest Territories and that sort of stuff. Um, that was kind of what I saw when I looked at it, looked his name up. But uh, yeah, I guess I just decided to dedicate this to him, which is pretty cool. Anyway, you've got that sort of black dot right there, the flare titles. Got the uh, CFM engines right here, looking very nice. CFM 56s, looking really, really nice. Got the overwing exit markings there for the two uh, overwing exits, looking very, very nice. You got the antenna on the top. And you got that nice uh, green uh, winglet there. And then on the inside here, it's got flare, which I honestly, that looks like that might have just been a, it might be off. Cause I feel like that should be kind of centered down more, but it's there though. Let's see what this side looks like. And it's got the same thing. Oh well. It doesn't look terrible. I mean, that's that's how it is. That's how it is. But yeah. Anyway, then moving along, you got the registration and the Canadian flag. So you see, uh, Charlie Foxshot, Foxshot Lima Charlie, and I forget what the other one they released. I think it was, I want to say it was Delta or Echo, Lima Echo or Lima Delta was the uh, other one that they released. Um, but. Uh, I'm just gonna try and take a look here and see what they did, but um, yeah, oh, it was uh, Lima Juliet. 
So it was Jim Rogers was the other one. Um, but uh, yeah, so pretty cool. Classic NG doing this sort of double double release, you know, two of the same kind of plane. The only difference is the name. Um, but it's fine. I think it's it's kind of cool. And honestly, it's like better than releasing just kind of one and then that sells out and you don't get a chance. But now there's two, so they're probably not going to sell out. Um, but yeah. And then you got the flare tail there. Uh, not bad looking. You kind of spin it around, taking a look at it. Looks pretty good. And then the only difference on this side, you got the baggage door at the back right here. And right up there at the front. Got the an the antennas on the top, and you got the little antenna at the bottom right there, if it'll focus. Looking very, very nice. Got the antennas on the bottom here as well. I take it she didn't, oh, there it is. There we go. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. And then taking a look at the bottom, it's just that green bottom. Not bad at all. And uh, the top, the top down view, nothing crazy there. But a very nice model though. Um, I like it. I like the look, honestly. So yeah. I guess it's just up to you guys whether which you know which one you whether you want um, Jim or uh, William Hardy. I guess you know whichever one. Um, but uh, yeah, so you have options, and uh, these probably won't sell out. I mean, the Canadian collectors might uh, gather them up, and I don't blame them. Though, as I say, I'm hoping NG will um, do the max uh, for a flare, because obviously that's what they fly more. And I think these 800s are probably going to be out within the uh, year or so, because um, I know a bunch of these, a couple of these were ones that got seized by the leasing company. And they only have a couple of them flying. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, smash that like button. Subscribe for more um, all unboxing and review videos, as well as other content. And with that, guys, I will see you on the next one. Take care.